Okay, everybody. Um, so, I uploaded some pictures from today. We went and had breakfast down in the lobby, and after that, I got to talk to Aaron for a little bit before heading out to Shawnee National Forest. The pictures are pretty much self-explanatory for themselves. We we started out, it was a pretty long drive. We went to um, the National Forest Headquarters for Shawnee where I actually picked up uh, an annual pass to go to any national forest. It's usually 80 bucks, but uh, since May of this year, they have been issuing annual passes out for free to military and their spouses or dependents. So if you are currently an active military service member or a dependent of a service member, go to any national park place and get your annual pass to any national park in the United States for free. You save 80 bucks, you get to see some pretty amazing stuff throughout our country. On top of that, I got a pretty neat shirt today from the headquarters. I'm not going to walk o over there to get it. Oh, but Mom's going to get it. It's in the bag. I haven't taken it out of the bag. Neat shirt. Afterwards, we, <laughs> we made the long drive to Burden Falls. Oh. <laughs> so, here's my new shirt from Shawnee National Forest, the little shoe on the front, big tracks on the back. <laughs> Fell in love with the color, I don't know why. So, that's that. We went on in, in search of Burden Falls, which was an even longer drive, because we had turned off at some rocks like I put in the, you know, show you with the pictures, and we thought maybe the falls were further up, so we stopped at another point, got out, and started walking this real uneven, rocky path for about 40 minutes before it kind of turned into this overgrown path, and mom wanted to turn around. So we turned around, walked the 40 minutes back. We even called the headquarters to see where the falls were. And, well, she didn't know, meaning she doesn't get out of the office much, if you know what I mean. So we went back to the rocks that we were at originally and realized that the falls must have been there because it's the only place that made sense where falls would be. So we climbed some rocks, got some pictures. I only got pictures the first time around. When we went back the second time, I left my camera in the car and mom's got pictures so I think she's going to send them to me or post them up on Facebook. So I'll save those somehow and put them up. Afterwards, we headed to Jackson Falls, where we were hoping we were going to see an actual waterfall. When we got there, it was, again, a non-existent waterfall. The drought in the Midwest had gotten so bad over the summer, there was no waterfall. None. So we were walking where waterfalls should have been, but they weren't. I mean, we enjoyed it all the same, but still, there were no falls, no one telling us that there were no falls to begin with, and we were in search for falls that didn't exist. Yeah. While we were at Jackson Falls, I caught a glimpse of something right above on the other side of the bank where the falls should have been, and it turned out to be a little memorial site, which I took a picture of, and the, the little cross says Leslie Cullum. I will get to that at the end because I want to do something a little special at the end for that. We left there, and instead of going back the way we came, we 
started, we went the opposite way to see if maybe it would come out on the main road. Oops. <laughs> that was wrong because all we ended up doing was unofficially going off-roading in a Chevy Equinox. It was kind of scary, but kind of fun. A little adrenaline rush. <laughs> then it came to turning around and doing it all over again. So we finally got out, and we headed towards Marion, back here. But before that, when we were in search of Burden Falls, what was really funny is that, well, we almost hit a cow because it had gotten out. We went past it. As we kept going, we ran into the main road, but before we could reach it, three dogs from three different properties started running at the car, running alongside the car, running in front of the car. Oh my god, there were dogs. It seemed like dogs were everywhere, but there were only three. One started out just taking off after us, and then we saw another one, and that one joined the, the first one, in which they were almost in front of the car when another one came down the hill I, I swear to god I thought she, I thought mom hit a dog <laughs> and I wanted to get out and pet one and she said no way it's snarled which I don't know how you could tell that was mom the dog was running <laughs> yeah well I saw one <laughs> so she thought she and thought they were Strange dogs, don't pet. Okay. So, we turn around, go back, and, well, that's when we stopped at the rocks and then went to Jackson. I had gotten out before that to try and help the cow, which was still kind of a small calf, back into where it came out and it just jumped over the barbed wire or through the barbed wire fence. While Mom was looking at the map, I was having a little fun. But we headed back to Marion. We were going to eat at Panera, but it wasn't open yet, which sucked. Because that would have been cool and nice. Uh, on our way back, though, um, we saw a truck completely flipped over, almost in the middle of an intersection. This is bad. And it was raining, which makes it like twice as bad. We ended up going to Logan's Roadhouse, having each a, a bowl of chili that we couldn't finish, and enormous nachos that, again, couldn't finish. We ended up taking the chili with us, leaving the rest of the nachos. The sweet tea was awesome. The rolls, I will probably never touch at Logan's again because I got a little carried away with them and oh my god I mean they were good don't get me wrong they were really good but don't eat more than one especially if you're counting calories women ladies listen to me don't eat more than one of those dinner rolls at Logan's Roadhouse you will regret it I swear I regret it I'm kinda glad we went swimming tonight and I was able to burn it off because when I saw how many calories they were and after how many I had eaten I was not happy with myself at all so after Logan's came back here in which mom over here was so full that she needed to rest for over an hour before we went down to the pool in which we were both doing laps, alternating between laps, hot tub, laps, hot tub. It was 45, you said 45 minutes to yeah. like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour we were down there. And then we came back up and I uploaded those pictures and everything and now I'm doing this. So I will get to the, uh, the memorial that I saw at Jackson Falls. What research I was able to do, I'm going to switch screens, so there was only one thing I could really find, and that was an obituary for Leslie Cullum. Uh, she was a resident of Marion, Illinois. She was 22, and she passed away at 6.55 p.m. on Friday, December 31st, 2004, as a result of an 
automobile accident. And she was born August 6, 1982. And she had many friends in life. She enjoyed spending time with her family and friends. So that's, that's what I was able to find on that. So a 22-year-old lost her life due to an autom automobile accident. And I posted a, a picture of her that I found. And I asked that some of you just take a moment and think about the dangers when it comes to driving. I will admit I have been guilty of it in the past, of texting while driving or ha holding the phone up to my head while driving. I don't text while I drive anymore and the only way I talk on the phone is if I have a Bluetooth which I know in some cases still it doesn't make it right but it's you can keep both hands on the wheel and focus on the road instead of holding it like this or like this not paying attention please be careful when you drive I mean especially in, in rainy weather snowy weather any kind of weather please be safe when you drive and think about others if you see someone speeding past you at 90 miles an hour that doesn't mean go faster, it means let them go, get the ticket for themselves, or go get into a car accident themselves. So, that's, that's that. And then tomorrow I think we're going to be doing more hiking. We're going to go see the one tomorrow. Garden of the we're going to go see Garden of the Gods tomorrow, which is still part of Shawnee National Forest. And after much consideration and talking with my mom about it today, I've decided to also start doing something new uh, for military families or spouses or anything. Where I'm at right now in Wisconsin, I'm about 40, 45 minutes from the Great Lakes base in which I do have decal, mil, um, car decals to get it on the base. And since my husband is in Japan and I don't get to see him much right now, uh, what I'm going to try and start doing is if you are in a different state and you would like me to go and interview whoever you have at Great Lakes Base, I'm more than happy to do so. Uh, when I go to Virginia at the end of October, I will be in Williamsburg and that's about a 45 minute drive from the Norfolk Naval Base, uh, about an hour or so drive from Oceana, and then there's Little Creek Base right there, and I know there are a couple other installations. If you're in a different state and you don't get to see your loved one, that's something I'm going to try and start doing is interviewing that military service member. Just make it fun for them. That way, if you don't get to Skype with them or if you don't get to talk to them often or whatnot, I'll include them in this video blog in which hopefully, you know, I've, I've hit 300 people and I hope it just keeps going because that's just awesome support and I love seeing it. If you think this is a good idea, let me know because I'm still kind of weighing it out if, if you think it's a good idea. I'm planning on going to Japan in June. If you have any service members over there that you'd like me to interview, that's another option. Basically, I will do everything I can to get to whatever installation is close to me at the time. So let me know your opinion on that. On that note, I'm going to say goodnight because I've gone way over what I'm used to. So, more pictures tomorrow and another vlog. Have a good night. Be safe.